In this video, we are going to discuss the concepts of subject and object in English sentences. Subject The subject performs the action in a sentence. For example, he helps me. Help is the action. Who is doing this action of helping? He since he is the performer of action in this sentence, so he stands as a subject. Ali kicks the ball. Kick is the action. And who is doing it? Ali is kicking. Ali is the performer. So Ali is the subject in this sentence. Amjad weeps. The action of weeping is being done by Amjad. So Amjad is the subject in this sentence. There are some sentences in English which do not contain any action word or verb. Here the subject may be a word which does not perform an action, but something is said about it in a sentence. He is a teacher. No, there, there is no action in this sentence. Who is being described as a teacher? He. Because this sentence states something about the word he, so he stands as the subject in this sentence. They are friends. Who are friends? They. So the word they is the subject. You are happy. Who is being described as happy? You. So you is the subject. Amjad is worried. Who is worried? Amjad. So Amjad is the subject. We need to know some facts about subjects. Number one, every sentence in English has a subject. Sometimes, in the case of imperative sentences, the subject is omitted because it is understood. Imperative sentences are the sentences in which we have the first form of the verb at the start of the sentence. Let's consider the sentence go. The person spoken to is the subject. You, you go. So here the word you is understood because somebody is saying the other person, you go, bring me some water. There is some person who is being spoken to or there is some person who the speaker is speaking to. It must be you. Secondly, a subject is a noun, a pronoun or a noun phrase. Ali is wasting his time. Ali, a noun is the subject. They are enjoying the music. They is a pronoun and, and it is the subject. A big black cow eats grass. A big black cow is a noun phrase and it stands as the subject in this sentence. Number three. In most of the cases, the subject appears before the verb. You go to school. Amjad broke his tooth. The oldest woman in the world died two days ago. But... Sometimes the subject may appear after the verb. When? Number one. If the sentence is a question without a main verb, then we have the subject after the verb in the sentence. For example, was it hot yesterday? Here, the word yesterday, which is the subject in this sentence, occurs after the verb. Number two. Are boys happy? The subject boys appears after the verb in this sentence. Secondly, if the sentence begins with the words higher or there, we will have the subject after the verb. Higher comes the bus. The subject bus comes after the verb comes. There are two girls in the classroom. The subject two girls occurs after the verb are. Number one, if the sentence is a question without a main verb. And number two, if the sentence begins with the words higher and there. The next thing that we must remember is the subject and the verb, which is known as the predicate verb, must agree in number. If the subject is plural, the predicate verb must also be plural. For example, they eat meat. First form of the verb eat without SOES with the plural subject. But he eats meat, first form of the verb with S 
with third person singular subject in present indefinite sentence. Now comes the turn of object. The object of a sentence is a noun or pronoun or a noun phrase that is receiving the action I kicked him. Who is receiving the kick? It's him. So him is the object in this sentence. Number two, the object is uh, the word or a collection of word that is having an action performed upon it. I beat Ali. The action of beating is being performed upon Ali. So Ali is the object. Now consider this sentence. I bought a book for him. This sentence contains two objects. The object of a sentence may be a direct object or an indirect object. The direct object receives the action. I ate mangoes. Here, mangoes is the direct object. In order to recognize the direct object, we should ask the question from ourselves. Verb plus what is equal to direct object. Here the verb is ate. Ate what? Ate mangoes. So, mangoes is the direct object. You saved money. Saved what? Money. So, money is the direct object. Now, an indirect object is the personal thing that receives the direct object. I gave a book to him. Now, what is the direct object here? Gave what? A book. So, the person who receives the book will be the indirect object. Now, who receives the book? Or who receives the direct object? Him who receives the book. So, him is the indirect object. An indirect object is the person or thing for whom the action is being performed. I bought him a watch. Bought what? A watch. A watch is the direct object for whom the action bought was performed for him. So, him is the indirect object. Thank you so much for listening to me. Take care. Bye.